Hello everyone, welcome to the Guild Rock SMP, where we have 9 guilds, I'm in Serenity. Each guild's name gets shortened to 2 letters, so I'm with Scotty, Falcon and Dicky, who are like my Guild Rock family. That being said, now let's get started with episode 1. So immediately I was dropped down a random hole, brought back up again, given some free armor, which is really lovely. A great advantage of joining Guild Rock halfway through the season is that I didn't have to grind for anything. I could straight away just get on with uh, yeah, my builds and everything. Here is the item frame member wall. So each member has their own item. Personally, I'll just be adding a sticky piston. And then we went straight onto the boat next to spawn, which has a brilliant map of the entire server, which is 4,000 by 4,000 blocks. We all have to make our bases inside this area just to prevent lag and stuff. Oh yeah, and by the way, my microphone does work in a few minutes, uh, just to let you know. But for now, I'll just be taking around the Colosseum, the giant cathedral, where I wish I'd declared that redstone must be mandatory. But I didn't say that at all. I didn't say that. Then I was taken to the courtroom where Lockley's murdered quite a lot of people before. You can see he kept pointing his bow at me, but never shot me. I was quite happy about that. So happy, I started flipping this donut upside down. Then we've carried on to a museum of the first dragon egg, first lightra, first everything that was on Guild Rock. Then past this lovely villa, we moved on to the Leaning Tower of Pizza just after that, where there are even more dragon eggs. I found more! There's even more! And then they showed me my post box in an old nether hub, which is really handy. And then they showed me the new nether hub that's being built, which is amazing. Like, look at how the stained glass glows. That's such a hard effect to achieve, and they've done it. This is I'm so looking forward to when this is finished. Then we had the most important part of the tour of all. We went all the way to the shopping district. So it's showing a bunch of shops. This one even sells netherite blocks. This is the most important shop. It's got totems of undying, which I'm going to always need. <laughs> I die so often. And buckets of powdered snow, my favorite block in the game. As long as I don't get killed by this Ravenger here called Steve or something. Then I realized there was a football stadium as I borrowed someone's elytra and flew around. And this looks amazing. I mean. The football uh, itself uh, was built by Lockley. I knew about that, but the stadium around looks gorgeous. We had a quick game where Lockley very definitely won by a country mile. But you can see here I was really, really trying and just nothing was stopping me. So we moved on to a game of tic-tac-toe. Not tic-tac-toe, sorry. To connect, We moved on to a game of connect eight. Uh, connect eight? What am I on about? We moved on to connect four and just here he blundered. And I'm only one of two people, apparently, to beat Lockley at Connect 4. So, he's, uh, so I, was, I was quite happy with that. So we won one. He's better at football. I'm better at Connect 4. Hell yeah. I won. <laughs> I won. I was blue, by the way, and he was yellow. He was really surprised, though. Then, after celebrating my great victory, we moved on past the Elytra shop to the sand and gravel uh, one, just past the random floating presents. And this is where my ma microphone magically started working again. So, West. Yeah, this is Dizzy the Fox. Um, hey, Dizzy. Because... Dizzy. <laughs> Just a little bit. <laughs> so that's Rocket. On, on the uh, city that I'm building. I only started the other day. Wait. So it's not really been in the video. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, the end is through here. End point. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not you. I'm dead. I am dead. I can get you stuff if. Uh, Okay. Uh, look that. Yeah, looking yeah, down. Crows. Yeah, post, That's everything. Uh, okay. Just Woo! I'll just liberate a few of these. Thanks. This is. This looks like crystals are charging up the everything, but it's like being paused. Oh, okay. This is homely moly. Oh my. So you don't really need to take what you have gay for. Oh, you are kidding me. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, oh. Yeah. Yeah, that is. Uh, God, this does not seem safe. Okay. There are white foxes? Whoa, okay. The only, the only on this <laughs> okay. I saw the other one had some baby glow squid. Do they never grow up? That's, they're so cute. <laughs> uh, 
How do I get out? Uh... Oh, you got the glow! Okay, okay. He has a bunch of farms in it, so I am farm and melon and pumpkins. Oh, that's amazing. Oh, it's like a secret thing <laughs> with a witch in. I imagine it's not safe to go up there with the witch, no? No, it's really safe. <laughs> Came out of the snowman. That's a, that's a great snowman. Yeah, it's a secret snowman. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's Jeff. Oh. <laughs> okay, Jeff bites. Uh, well. <laughs> Uh, what, what guild was this again? Sorry, the Roman guild. The Roman guild. Okay, yeah. it's a bit blingy, but that's <laughs> that's it fine. Is it yeah. Is Here is mine. Um, this is. Well, I really like the colorful banners. It does feel like a. Oh, is, a, is this a throne? It's my fountain. And that yeah. Is, uh, that one's got netherite armor, so that I one see. Might be the blingiest, I guess. Oh, definitely. Yeah. Uh, also, it kind of looks like a face as well. I feel like there's a mouth and the buttons are the eyes. <laughs> You're welcome. I'm actually, I'm pretty happy with this build. I think it came out pretty well. Oh, there's fountains everywhere. They're really cool. And this is what will be my storage area over here is more or less done. Um, okay, cool. These are empty. This was always empty. Don't mind me. Don't mind. <laughs> Don't mind. <laughs> No, I'll put I'll put this back. I'll put this back. Don't kill me. But as soon as the tour was over, I got so lost and immediately died in what was apparently the industrial district of Quietude. Luckily, I managed to recover all of my stuff, and I also discovered they were using this powdered snow trick, which I showed on my YouTube channel for a T flip flop, which is quite cool. Anyway, I was finally pointed in the direction of this place, which is the Serenity Industrial. Luckily, immediately paid me some diamond blocks for some wool that wasn't mine because he needed it for his uh the new city he was building i did pass them on to falcon who had actually made the wool farm now our industrial is lovely but i think i'll only visit it for the iron farm and a few other little bits i found something even better which is the roadkill shop <laughs> thanks luckily for showing it to me then while I was talking to Lockley about where my starter base should be, he actually offered one of his islands from his very early base in the game. And I've got the entire inside of his volcano, which is just over here. Ta-da! It looks magnificent. The, and it's, all of the inside is completely hollow. I just need a way in. So, at the top here, I'm going to be digging away some of this wool and turning it into a hidden elevator. So, it's going to be a 7x7 design, only, you know, the most difficult one of them all, but I think I can do it. So, I'm going to get into a quick time lapse, ready for my first base on Gildrock. Let's go! Okay, this is my first time building this on survival, but it should all be ready to go. Yes, okay, it's working. I... Oh, no. No. Turns out there was one extra block at that right-hand corner, and that broke everything, so I tried again. And I was really careful and methodical. I tested every little bit, placed every observer one at a time, counted each part to be as careful as I possibly could. Okay, so as the sun sets over Lockley Islands, I'm going to try... I hope that this third time is the charm for my elevator. So, I've rebuilt absolutely everything. I've double checked and triple checked everything. Now we press the button. Ah! 
<laughs> okay, it's working. It's going up. Okay. Now, all the, uh, the catch pistons should be ready. If even one of those blocks is off, I have to rebuild it all over again. Oh, please, oh, please, oh, please. It should all stop right and level. Okay, okay. Now the last test. Press the button at the top. Yes! <laughs> oh, Lockley, I've got to show Lockley this. Awesome. <laughs> oh, what's he going to say? What's he going to say? Because he, he had asked if I could build this in the volcano ages ago. I've been spending all week trying it. <laughs> I've been busy in between, so it's not like a full week, but like... What does Sir Lock and his monocle think? Hmm? You don't know how laggy my game just got. <laughs> how about we do it again? <laughs> I just called him so much lag. After bullying Lockley for a bit, I visited Falcon's base, which was really lovely, especially a beautiful outside. Then visited Nano's base with this cool squealy face, and it's amazing futuristic cityscape. I said it's just like something out of Star Wars. It's absolutely amazing. Okay. You also agreed to trade a, a, a stack chest? of ender chests for something very um, strange. British. This this is a, a, a British grass block just all, all the way from the UK. Is that that's is that what you is this just, is this what you're asking for? Apparently, it was just what he wanted. <laughs> <laughs> he then showed me the way to his delightfully quirky microwave room. Uh, okay, this is it. Is this it? Is this the microwave? Nice. Okay. Woo! <laughs> Alright, awesome. It probably smells like tea and crumpets, and uh, I'm glad you like it. <laughs> we then ended up playing hide-and-seek briefly with Falcon, but we found oh, yeah, him eventually behind this tree. Yeah, I wondered when you, once you said... Yeah, once you said carrot, it made sense. And I also discovered why I've been seeing everyone as Steve's recently. <laughs> oh, that's better. That thank you. <laughs> okay, now I see. Now I see. Hey, I'm here. Woo! All right. Yeah, this is a I thought there was multiple people in the um, you know, alleged bank robbery. No, it's just me and you. Um. Uh. Let's find them far away and uh, and see if it's if it despawns. Okay, no. No. Hello. Hey. Basically, it looks like I'm Lockley's getaway driver for this bank heist. Then he showed me his secret area in his base and the bank vault he's gonna rob. You watched my vid, huh? Too bad I lied, I didn't build a vault here. I think this is sort of vault. It's okay. Too good, but not to it. Yeah, um, I've got a bad so. Yeah, that's fine. I'm surprised as well that you use so many beacons. I'm but said you used to just spam beacons everywhere. When I say everywhere, I mean everywhere. And did you know that if you break a beacon with a sword, it breaks quicker? Oh yeah, the sword is quicker. It's not by much. That's surprising. Okay, so am I allowed in the bank? No, you're not. Ooh, okay, awesome. Oh, this looks. This is lovely. I got a job at the bank, and I went. Uh, one condition: I want to build my own vault. After meeting Lockley to help plan the bank heist, I came over here back to the volcano, added some cool buttons, which made me realise I'm going to need a lot more slime and honey for my future redstone projects. Luckily though, I want, I've got a plan to make a slime farm, but that means I need to clear out lots of chunks as easily as I can. So I want to get lots and lots of TNT. So luckily, Dickie has shown me the way to our industrial sized gunpowder farm, which I could use for free because we're both in the Serenity Guild, which is awesome. After a few hours of AFK, all I needed was sand. So I've been in the desert for a long time now. I've got three shulker boxes full, uh-oh, full of sand, which I'm gonna bring back and turn into TNT. Now this means we can get on with the slime farm. So I've got two shulker boxes full of gunpowder from AFKing at Serenity's gunpowder farm, and I've got three shulker boxes of sand. So let's see how much uh, TNT this can make, cause... <laughs> oh my goodness me, I have so much I could do with this. <laughs> um, I wasn't even thinking pranks, I was like, there's such a huge area I need to clear, clear out for my slime farm, and oh, this is going to help so much. <laughs> I'm, I'm so happy right now. I'm beaming ear to ear. <laughs> I 
Okay, so I'm back, and I've crafted up all the gunpowder I had, and most of the sand, but this right here is all the TNT that I crafted up. So, do you want to guess how much it might be? Five stacks? Twenty stacks? It's kind of in the middle. I thought it would be about ten, and it's actually nearly eleven stacks. Look at this! <laughs> so much TNT. I, I, I don't know. I'm probably going to go through this really quickly, though. But, oh, this makes me so, so giddy. <laughs> Box can go in there so no one can touch it. <laughs> so I've got a good plan for my starter base and people seem to like it. But what I need is mud. For that, I need a hell of a lot of dirt and a hell of a lot of wheat. So that shop with the red roof that I was just standing on, this sells mud. Which is exactly what I need. So let's go have a look. Owned by BSP Entrance. Mud, 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 mud. So I need to pack this down. And for that, I need a lot of wheat. <laughs> and where can I buy that now? Otherwise, it's just going to take me a long time. My other plans are to build a massive rocket as well. I mean, I know rocket is already making a rocket. So and I don't really want to steal his thunder. But oh, I, uh, I, I, have a, I have a good plan, I think. My starter base is going to be several islands. I don't know if I've actually said this already. So, um, it'll be several islands dotted around. One will be like a Chinese style and one will be like a um, European and one will be like space agent. And I don't know how many islands there are going to be. That's it. I'll let you guys in the comments suggest what islands should I make and what themes should they be in. So, um, yeah, feel free to comment your suggestions down below. There's a Spanish one and a Russian one I wanted to try. Like the uh, St. Basil's Cathedral even um, is actually really beautiful and colourful. And it's a really unique architectural design that you don't find anywhere else like on the planet. So um, I'll gather up f things first though. Before I start getting ahead of myself, get stuff for the starter base, which is the mud. And then I'll get all the rest of the stuff for a giant St. Basil's and Sagrada Familia. And all the rest of this and a giant rocket. And um, yeah, that, those should be coming up in the later episodes. I was just asking around about um, if anyone had any soul sand. I'm just waiting to meet someone. Did I see this? Free bedrock. <laughs> first come, first served. I, 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 I don't know what to say. That there's just bedrock. There's just... <laughs> I didn't think you could get that in Vanilla Survival. That's, that's just some something's gotta have been broken. Surely that's not. Oh, he's here. No. Thank you. Did she? Has left some free diamonds that spawned. Josh has just got the first one, so it's not a trick. Don't trust the ones under the moss, though. Those I think feel like are going to be a trap. But these ones, I'm just going to take one block. I think, I think we're being pranked. <laughs> um, all we're doing is placing dirt, though, which is fine by me. Got my free diamonds. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that this is just going to be rocket. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rocket book. Hello. <laughs> no way that this is safe. <gasps> yeah, no, I'm not touching that. I'm not touching that. <laughs> I'm not touching it. Okay. I've got, I've had enough risk getting one down block. I'm, I'm, I'm fine. I'm fine. I believe it's this one. That is so, so cheap. This is literally all I need to finish my entire base. Bong. There we go. I'm all ready. Let's go. I've been uh, really busy making myself at home in uh, Lockley's Volcano. But today is the day that I'm going to be moving out of this volcano. So as you can see, the, I had lit everything up. I've placed loads of stone around using lava. But today, all I need to do is get my last few shulker boxes. And it's going to be finally official. I'm moving to the little island I claimed. Now let's go. Goodbye, Lockley's Bay. So just here down the Roman corridor to the north and very close to the, uh, the Christmas district, I've got my own hidden little tunnel that takes me to... Akimitsu's Island. Let's go! Here we are. This is our new home sweet home. This is island I've claimed entirely. 
I've got a few trees just growing, some wheat, and this tiny little temporary hut. I'm going to move my final few shulker boxes into. Now this isn't exactly my starter base, but I have started on some bubble elevators down to a mine shaft, <laughs> just to get myself started, you know. And with these few hay bales, I finally have all the materials I need to get out of this ugly, ugly hut and start my actual starter base on this island. I'm just gonna hop into a quick time lapse and uh, yeah, let's go. Oh, and welcome back to my finished starter base. Uh, I want to give a massive thank you to Sam for the help with the third person time lapse. I did have to cut it slightly short. I did get a call halfway through. But as you can see, I've added loads more detail. So there's like some vegetation, mushrooms, boulders. <laughs> Even my, my little nether portal has become a boulder. But before I carry on with the rest of the video, I just want to show you a quick clip where I was interrupted on the building process by Lockley coming to visit me with a diamond block. I just want to say sorry for the audio quality, but I hope you find it funny. Enjoy! Okay, so it looks like me and Lockley are playing a little game. I should probably not peek. So he keeps hiding a diamond block on my island and uh, won't tell me where he's hiding it. Last time it was in this tree. Stay in here. Oh, okay. Clay, where? <laughs> Where have you hidden this diamond block? Maybe it'll be like underwater or something. That's what I'm placing my bet on. Definitely not believe this campfire. That would be really clever. Let's just have a quick look around. It's not just placed out in the open, is it? Not by my skeleton horses. Uh, you can see it without breaking blocks. Okay. Is it touching grass? Sort of. No, 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 no. That's not a... That's not a... What do you mean, sort of? Sort of touching grass. <laughs> I was just going to say, where was it? <laughs> what does he mean kind of touching grass? What does he mean? It is touching grass. Uh, okay. Hmm. Oh, hello. Yeah, I'm going to actually die from it. So confused. So, so confused. Where is there left to check? Hints. It's on the same half of the island as your starter base. It's in one of these holes, maybe? <laughs> You're just having fun now. Oh, you are kidding me. You... <laughs> that was... That was a very good hiding spot. Okay. <laughs> I don't know how I didn't see that earlier. It was just... I, as I was running around here, it's like right at the corner of my eye. That I got that. That was brilliant. Okay. But, um... Yeah, it's all finished now. 
Uh, even the inside, I'll show you uh, a little quick tour. As you see, I've got all these bubble columns. I've got a little chimney from the fireplace. And these bubble columns as well, you can go all the way up. And you can fall straight back down using a cool little trick, uh, using powdered snow. Um, which reminds me, I need to shout out the guy who introduced me to that. Because it's such a, such a good, useful trick. And another, like, massive reason, powdered snow is the best block in Minecraft. So you've got general knickknacks over here, lots of storage. And this wall over here is literally just my shulker box wall. These ones are over here are empty. And I can reach them by using the bubble column and these chains. So that's why the chains are hanging up everywhere. There's a blue and yellow color theme. Uh, so just up here, I've got my main bedroom. There's lots of blue candles everywhere. I've got a nice balcony. You can even see the cute little chimney from here. Uh, unfortunately, the copper hasn't fully oxidized yet, but it will look lovely, I think, when it's finished. I've also made the gradient just here a lot more smooth. Um, I've done a lot of work on it. I think I'm really happy with how it's come out, though. Let me know what you think down in the comments. Oh my god, I have bees as well. Oh god, that's going to help so much. You might have noticed these little green uh, outlines behind me. And I just want to explain what these are. These are the borders of four slime chunks. Very close to my base. And this one, I've put almost all... Well, actually, it is. All of those 11 stacks of TNT are in this hole right now. And it's time to blow it up. So, this is the grand finale of uh, my start to Guild Rock. Anyway... I want to say a uh, big thank you for 300 subscribers, and I need to run away. <laughs> there it goes. There we go, here we go again. I think this is the last time. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> it's so, so much is blowing up. Yo, you can see all the way down there. So in the next episode, this whole slime farm will be completely finished and hopefully we'll be getting our first profit from the slime farm. But until then, I just want to say thank you so much for watching. That's all I've got time for today. So I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.